Hi, in this video, we will see about uh, basic definitions in centroid of plane figures. Let us see one by one. The first one is uh, center of gravity. Center of gravity. Okay. Center of gravity means uh, if I take a rigid body, if I take a rigid body, okay. So it is the point where whole mass of the body is assumed to be concentrated okay there is a point where point where whole mass of the body is assumed to be concentrated okay whole mass it is the point where whole mass of the body is assumed to be concentrated is called as center of gravity now the next definition is centroid second one centroid centroid now instead of uh, taking uh, this uh, uh, the body in three directions means uh, instead of taking 3d view if I take uh, the plane one plane of the rigid body assuming uh, the thickness of the rigid body as constant if I just consider one plane of the rigid body one plane I'll just take one plane of the rigid body means two dimensional uh, structure okay therefore the centroid means it is the point where whole area of a plane figure is assumed to be concentrated okay it is a point where whole area of a plane figure is assumed to be concentrated it is a point let me write it it is the point where whole area of a plane figure is assumed to be assumed to be concentrated just need to be concentrated okay next next definition centroidal axis okay third one centroidal axis okay centroidal axis means it is the axis it is the axis which passes through centroid of the plane figure okay it is the axis which passes through centroid of the plane figure it is called as centroidal axis so axis which passes through passes through the centroid of the plane figure plane figure okay the next definition is reference axis reference axis reference axis means see if I want to measure or if I want to locate the centroid of uh, this plane figure 
what I will do is first I will take one reference axis. I'll take one reference axis. Let us take this as reference y axis and this as reference x axis. Okay. If total width is B and total depth of this rectangle is D, then what will be the distance of the centroid from the reference y axis? It will be B by 2 and distance of centroid from reference x axis will be d by 2. Okay. So what we have done is we, with reference to this axis we have measured the centroid. Therefore reference axis is the axis with reference to which the centroid is measured. Okay. It is the axis. It is the axis with reference to which with reference to which the centroid is measured. Okay, so we will measure the x bar. Okay, so b by 2 is nothing but x bar and y bar distance of centroid from the reference x axis and the reference y axis. Okay, so the axis with reference to which the centroid is measured is called as reference axis. The last one, last one, axis of symmetry. Fifth one, axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry means it is the axis which divides the whole figure into two equal parts. The axis which divides the figure into two equal parts. Axis which divides the figure into two equal parts which divides the figure into two equal parts is called as axis of symmetry. Now we have a few examples here, few examples here. We can see that uh, this x axis, x axis dividing the figure into two equal parts, right? Dividing the figure into two equal parts, two equal parts, right? And even the y axis is also dividing the figure into two equal parts. Therefore, figure is, figure is symmetry about symmetry about x and y axis. Okay, figure is having symmetry about x and y axis. x axis is also dividing the figure into two equal parts. y axis is also dividing the figure into two equal parts. Therefore, the figure is symmetric about both x and the y axis. So here also same thing in the second figure. In the second figure, x axis is also dividing the figure into two equal parts. Y axis is also dividing the figure into two equal parts. So same thing, same thing, symmetry about x and y axis. Symmetry about x and y axis. Okay. Now, you just refer to the third figure third figure, the figure is the y axis is dividing the figure into two equal parts, two equal parts, right? The y axis is dividing into two equal parts, but when it comes to the x axis, x axis is not dividing the figure into two equal parts, right? x axis is not dividing the 
figure into two equal parts. Therefore, figure is symmetric about only y axis. Symmetry about symmetry about about only y axis. Okay. Now refer to the fourth figure. Here we can see that uh, x axis is dividing the figure into two equal parts, but uh, it is not so in case of y axis. Y axis is not dividing the figure into two equal parts, right? Therefore, symmetry about symmetry about only x axis. Symmetry about only x axis. And referring to the last figure, we can see the figure is not symmetric about x axis and even it is not symmetric about y axis. Okay, so here not symmetric about about both x and y axis okay so the knowledge of uh, axis of symmetry is very very essential in solving the numerical problems so here you can see uh, i have given all uh, cases where the figure is symmetric about both x and y axis symmetric about uh, only y axis symmetric about only x axis and unsymmetric about means not symmetric about both x and the y axis okay so this completes the basic definitions on centered of plane figures thank you